preparation goals for this procedure are proper access for visualization of the coronal pulp space, conservation of remaining tooth structure for stainless steel crown restorations, complete removal of coronal pulp with no tissue tags and visualization of canals, complete hemostasis prior to medicament placement in the pulp chamber, and proper fill for the ZOE or IRM. The armamentarium includes the rubber dam, floss, high and low speed hand pieces, number 330 burr, a number 4 or number 6 slow speed round burr, formocreosol, MTA, ZOE or IRM. There are several medicament choices that can be used for pulpotomies. Option 1, Step 1, MTA. This is the preservation or regeneration option. Handling can be an issue, but there is strong supporting evidence for its usage. Step 2, Seal with a stainless steel crown. Option 2, Step 1, Formocreosol. This is the devitalization or fixation option. A 1-5 to five dilution is used. This is bactericidal and has strong supporting evidence. Step 2. ZOE or IRM is the gold standard for sealing and filling the coronal pulp chamber. Step 3. Seal with a stainless steel crown. Option 3. Additional medicaments might include sodium hypochlorite, ferric sulfate, or chlorhexidine. The choice of material is based on AAPD support, personal experience, or professional and clinical judgment. Although the medicaments and materials may change, the access opening technique will remain the same. Remove caries and determine presence of pulpal exposure. Carefully unroof pulp chamber and establish clean vertical walls with a number 330 burr or a number 169 burr. Remove coronal pulp with a spoon excavator or slowly rotating number 4 or number 6 round burr with light pressure. Do not perforate pulpal floor. Evaluate the health of the pulpal tissue. If there is evidence of hyperemia after removal of the coronal pulp, which indicates that inflammation is present in the tissue beyond the coronal portion of the pulp, this technique should be abandoned in favor of pulpectomy or the removal of the tooth. If the hemorrhage is controlled readily and the pulp stumps appear normal, it may be assumed that the pulp tissue in the canals is normal and it is possible to proceed with the pulpotomy. Following hemostasis, apply medicament of choice to pulp stumps per manufacturer's recommendations and fill with ZOE. Evaluate the preoperative occlusion. Place a stainless steel crown which is the recommended sealing restoration. Some general considerations for this procedure include, the pulpotomy procedure is indicated when caries removal results in a pulp exposure in a primary tooth with a normal pulp or with reversible pulpitis or after a traumatic pulp exposure. The coronal tissue is amputated and the remaining radicular tissue is judged to be vital without superation, purulence, necrosis, or excessive hemorrhage that cannot be controlled by a damp cotton pellet after several minutes, and there are no radiographic signs of infection or pathological resorption. The coronal pulp is amputated, and the remaining vital radicular pulp tissue surface is treated with a long-term, clinically successful medicament such as formal creosol or MTA. After the coronal pulp chamber is filled with ZOE, the tooth is restored with a restoration that seals the tooth from microleakage. The most effective long-term restoration has been shown to be a stainless steel crown. See the stainless steel crown video for more details. Some common errors with this procedure are incomplete access of pulp chamber with remaining tissue tags or over-aggressive access with furcation involvement and the inability to achieve hemostasis with the resulting lack of a seal.